Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Fakha binti Muhammad Husni With metric number B03191006 I am a year 2 student from BITC UTEM This is an individual assignment for subject software engineering BITP2213 that I am taking for this semester 2020-2021 so the title I picked is question 12, which is decide three quality factors that were compromised within our SMP system. <clears throat> so what is quality factor or quality management? Quality means that a product should meet its specification. They are concerned with ensuring that the required level of quality is achieved in a software. <clears throat> So the three quality factors that I found within our SMP system are integrity, maintainability, and also reliability. <coughs> the first one is integrity. This factor deals with the software system security that is to prevent access to unauthorized person. Also to distinguish between the group of people to be given read as well as write permit. I do realize this when I forgot my password and try to log in several times, if I'm not mistaken, three times. Um, the activity uh, is being recorded by the admin and also this the system sent an email to my student email informing that there's attempt to log into my account. So yeah, that is... The next one is maintainability. This factor considers the effort that will be needed by users and also maintenance personnel to identify the reasons for software failures, to correct the failures, and also to verify the success of corrections. And the last one is reliability. These requirements deal with service failure. They determine the maximum allowed failure rate of the software system and can refer to the entire system or to one or more of its separate functions. It is extent to which a program is supposed to perform its function with the required precision. Uh, so in, for example, in our SMP system, students can use the system to check their marks, register and drop the subjects, update their basic information and also find basic details of other student, uh, of other student and staff. So I think that's all from me. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Hafiza, for your time on watching this. And have a nice day ahead. Assalamualaikum.